NBA player props here on Price Picks for Friday, November 1st. Sorry, Friday, November 1st. Uh, before I get started, link in the description below. Hop into the Discord, you guys, $9.30 per month, $0.31 cents per day. Um, we're currently doing a special right now, 20% off first month. If you are a first-time member of the Discord, it comes out to like 7 bucks um, for the full month. Again, link in the description below for that. Also, I mentioned I'm not a gambling expert, not financial advice. Simply just plays on person looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves also want to talk about daily grand fantasy really quickly you guys the dfs optimizer an absolute elite tool you guys i mean given i mean whether you're on underdog fantasy price picks uh whatever platform you are on um dfs platform uh daily grand does all the hard work for you here you can see the top play on the board currently um again this re this refresh is in real time is going to be uh, anthony davis over 55 and a half fantasy uh because his percentage you can see his percentage also hit is 55.39 um, because these traditional sports books don't offer fantasy score lines, um, you know, Daily Grind does the hard work for you. They take their points, rebounds plus assists, blocks, steals, lines, um, and generates what a fantasy score line would be over on these uh, platforms or these sports books. And on DraftKings, his line will be at 57.7. It's at 55.5 on price picks, giving us a discrepancy, giving us a 55.39% odds to hit. Um, again, there's a link in the description below. You can use promo code TUFF, tough, 25% uh, off your first month. Um, of daily grand fantasy again they got the dfs optimizer dfs middling fantasy scores etc whether you're on sleeper probably play better picks whatever your platform you're on link in the description below for that 25 percent off your first month but let's get right into it, you guys i got two player props that i do like here um over on price picks um yeah let's not waste any time let's get right into it also make sure you guys follow me on twitter posting daily play of the days um but the first play here is going to be darren fox over 42 and a half fantasy this was just at 41 and a half i will still play the bump here um the one point bump at 42 and a half fantasy here looking at this matchup this is the highest game total on the slate at 236.5 um and just given how the atlanta is playing at home and this game has a 200 236 and a half uh, game total there are some injuries right to the hawks but i mean they do still have trey young uh, Jalen Johnson, Kellen Capella, Okongu. So I'm not giving this just a complete blowout chance, especially Atlanta playing at home. Um, and also given how the Kings haven't played that well this season, I mean, they're two and two um, and they've been in some pretty competitive games. But I do like De'Aaron Fox here. If we look at these games this season, I mean, these games that the Kings have been in have been pretty close. 115, 117, 131, 127. And they've been in some shootouts, right? Lowest scoring game here. Um, Utah only scored 96 points, but Fox is only over in one of three games this season. But again, the game scripts and kind of how he's needed to play, um, I don't know. Game scripts are important, I think, when it comes to when we talk about uh, basketball specifically. Like this game against Utah, he played 31 minutes, um, the lowest of any starter besides Kevin Werder. Um, but he still saw, you know, the second highest issues on the team, shot 15 shots, right, which is more than enough um, for De'Aaron Fox to hit the over on this line. But it's really just the matchup for me here. Um, Darren Fox, you can see home versus away splits in his career, or last season, sorry, averaged more points um, and more steals. Obviously, just took a little bit more field goal attempts. He's, you know, even going back to last season, Darren Fox, in my opinion, was a road monster. Um, and the matchup's just too elite. We look at the Atlanta Hawks this season, two point guards specifically, and guards in general, right? Point guards, the Atlanta Hawks um, on the season are allowing the uh, eighth most fantasy points along with the sixth most points and then again shooting guards just because some players are listed as shooting guards but play point guard like jordan Poole, um hawks fifth most fantasy points and the uh 11th most points per game so we know historically right the hawks don't have a great defense and trey young is barbecue chicken um on the defensive side of the ball and we look at uh De'Aaron Fox on over on outlier his last 10 road games in with playing 32 minutes dating back to last season he's over in nine of his last 10 just monster road games um averaging 51.93 fantasy points over that span it, when he plays 32 minutes on the road just absolutely monster monster games for De'Aaron Fox we look at De'Aaron Fox um how he's faced against Trey Young with 32 plus minutes in his career he's over this line in five of his last six games five of his last six matchups versus Trey Young when he does play 32 minutes, which again, hopefully we do get a competitive game here and he should see the that type of minutes. But I mean, these type of massive games that he had, he's had against Trey Young, including these two games on the road at Atlanta, 61 and 65 and a half fantasy points for him in those two games. Um, again, Trey Young, 
probably one of the worst, if not the worst, guard defender in basketball. Also, Dyson Daniels is out for this one, giving us, giving a, you know, just another guard defender, probably one of the better guard defenders in the league that's going to be out for this matchup. So, I mean, a rookie and Trey Young and David Robinson, SGA 78.7, Holmgren, or sorry, Holmgren's side for De'Aaron Fox in this matchup, given that the Hawks have one of the worst defenses in basketball across the board, third worst defense. And then again, both these teams are going to be top 10 in top 11, I believe, in pace. Uh, if we filter this to by pace, um, I think over at three. So two high pace teams. I mean, there's a reason this game total is just absolutely massive um, sitting here at 236 and a half, which is the highest over under um, on the slate today. So, yeah, Darren Fox over 42 and a half fantasy is uh, is going to be the first play. Let me see if this will come back to me. Price Vic's been bugging. Yeah, 42 and a half fantasy is the first play. Uh, second play here is I'm looking at a sleeper play, I think, in my opinion. It's going to be Lakers rookie, um, Dalton Connect. I like his over 9.5 PRA. So my reasoning for this one is pretty simple. Um, I think the Lakers just blow out the Raptors tonight. Um, I mean, it's a home game for, for Toronto, but Toronto's we're going to be without Scotty Barnes, Emmanuel Cookley, Bruce Brown, and Kelly Olynyk. I mean... Lakers are nine point favorites, 231 over under, but the Toronto Raptors have the worst defense in basketball. Um, they have the worst defensive rating in the NBA. Um, we've just kind of seen how teams have torched them. And again, Dalton Connect, blowout or not blowout, I think he's got a chance to hit this line just given how bad the Raptors defense is. And this is a player, Dalton Connect, he's over this line, I believe, in three of five games this season. Um, coming off his best game of his young career, 18 points and three rebounds, one assist. Um, finished with 22 PRA against Cleveland. Um, in this game was obviously a blowout, but he, you know, proved that he sh was able to shoot the ball well um, and just do a ton of different things offensively. And you can kind of see here how the Toronto Raptors rank PRA defense against specific positions. I mean, Dalton connects more like a shooting guard, small forward. Um, you know, the Raptors 27th and 27th versus points and assists versus the shooting guard position, um, small forward, power forward. I mean, they're just getting absolutely fried on defense. Worst defensive rating in the NBA. Lakers should be able to handle them pretty easily, in my opinion. Um, and Connect should see a little bit more minutes. I mean, even so, he has seen, you know, 15, 13, 20, 11, and 22. I think 18-plus minutes here should be a nice floor for him here. Um, he's over in every game, 11-plus PRA in every game when he's seen at least uh, 13 minutes. So I like this spot for him. I just, again, simple read. I think the Lakers blow them out. He's coming off his best game. Just scored 18 points two nights ago. Um, confidence is probably sky high. Uh, I like this spot a lot here for Dalton Connect. So definitely a weird one, but again, got to get weird here. Got to get analytical, surgical, essentially, with these player props. Two player props for this YouTube video over on Price Picks. Check out all the links in the description below. Please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, it's cash.